During a WebEx meeting with your students, you have the ability to share anything that is open on your computer with your students. As the host or the presenter, you can share content, whether it be a website, whether it be a PDF, a Word document, a video, there's anything that you can show on your computer, you can share. So what you're going to do is after you have started a meeting, if you hover your mouse down at the bottom where you have all these various tools, you'll notice when I hover on this particular button, it says share content. So when I click share content, this is going to give me the ability again to share anything that is already open on my screen. What I would suggest you do before you even begin your meeting with your students is you close out of any applications that you don't accidentally want to share with the group. When you have everything open, what you're going to do is click on the share button and you can see here there's a number of different options of things that I can share. I already have Google Chrome open, so I might be sharing something on a website. I have my WebEx meeting window open. I have Microsoft Teams. I have OneNote. I could have a Word document, a PDF, and they would all come up in different screens over here. You'll notice at the top over here where it says Screen 1, there is a difference between Screen 1 and all of these applications. So for instance, if I were to share Google Chrome right now with everybody, everybody would only be able to see what is on my Google Chrome screen. And if I were to just suddenly click on something else in my toolbar and I went over to OneNote, they would not actually be able to see this because I have designated the program to only share my Google Chrome screen. And you will see at the top, you can see that I'm only sharing my Google Chrome screen. So if I flipped between applications, they would not be able to see what I'm doing. And that's going to make a difference in terms of whether you share screen one or you share a specific application. So watch what I'm going to do. So if I come back over here and I hover my mouse, I'm going to stop, stop sharing my Google Chrome screen. And if I go back over to share, when I click on share screen one, that means that I would be able to flip between a number of different applications and all of my participants in my meeting would be able to see it. So if I clicked on share screen, what this is going to do is now it is sharing OneNote and you can see the message changed here at the top. It doesn't say that you're sharing Google Chrome. It says you're sharing your screen. Now, if I were to flip back and forth between different applications, the students on the other end would see everything that I am flipping through, which is why, again, if you share screen, it is important that you close out anything that you don't accidentally want to share with students. But this does make it easier to be able to flip between applications without having to stop sharing and then sharing your screen again. One other sharing feature that I want to bring your attention to is if you are going to be sharing a video, let's say that's on YouTube, there is a setting that you can change so that the sound and the video quality will be better on the participants end. So I'm going to come back over to share and you can see here by default, anytime you are sharing something, it is assuming that you are sharing something that just has text and flat images on it, like a Word document or something in Google Chrome, a web browser, but if you are going to be sharing a actual video, what you should do is change this drop down to optimize for motion and video. And now you can see on Google Chrome, I have a video open here. So if I was going to share this screen and I was going to play this video for my students, the quality would be that much better because I have optimized the program to stream this better. So that's just something to keep in mind if you are going to use that feature. And again, to get out of this, you're just going to hover your mouse at the top so that this toolbar pops up. You're going to click Stop Sharing, and that's going to enable you to then go back to your regular screen. And that's really about it when it comes to sharing any content on your computer in a WebEx meeting.